Hello. Miss Berlin, Hello. Monsieur Ambassador. Uh, so uh, the idea is to represent uh, South of France, uh, the region. So you will have for starting um, pan fried uh, red mullet. And uh, it will be served with a, a liquid um, as a lemon from Menton. So you will have some little pearls. I invite you to bite into it first. So it will refresh your palate and then you can ah, okay. get in into, the, into okay. your dish. Why do you think French food is so much better than any other food in Europe? Huh. It's difficult for me to, 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 to answer. I think that you have a cultural tradition in France. It was always at the centre of the, the life. It's a kind of art of living, an art de vivre uh, in France. And perhaps it's not the case in other European countries where the food is a necessity. Mr Ambassador, I know one isn't supposed to talk about politics or religion over lunch, but I wondered if we might talk a little bit about no, Brexit. No, because we, 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 we cannot, you see, when, when you are in gastronomy in France, you have not the right to speak politics on religion. When I am in the Club des Saints in Paris, the rules, <laughs> you are not to speak about politics and so on because it's too controversial. So we try to avoid it. Yes, that. I'm sure. I'm sure. And it is... Oh, is that for me? Wow. Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, that looks amazing. You see. Wow. Yes, the presentation, it's, uh, it's very spectacular. Impressive. Yeah. And I have to have the lemon first. So I will follow the recommendation yeah. of the chef. Perhaps we can taste and after I will be at your disposal. So you eat like this every day? No. <laughs> to be clear with you, no, because I cannot, I don't want to. And how long are you here for? In, in this... Uh, how long will you be at the embassy? Uh, more than uh, one year and a half. Okay. Before I was in, um, in the Elysee in Paris, mm. and before I was more in the um, treasury. You see, I, I have many friends in London because I led the French treasury. And I led the French treasury when your current governor, the governor of the Bank of England, uh, Mr. Mark Carney, Carney mm -hmm. was head of the Canadian Treasury. You're in good company. I'm, I'm in good company in London. And, uh, Fantastic. And then uh, you will follow up with a uh, uh, cannon of lamb. The lamb is coming actually not from Provence, but from Wales. Oh. Uh, because we, and the ambassador agree with me, we really like uh, the Welsh lamb. And uh, it will be served with um, kind of vegetable gâteau. So all Provencal vegetables are into that gâteau. This looks amazing, Mr. Ambassador. But you will see, you see, it's uh, sustainable with meat. But the meat is Welsh, and as you know, the best lamb is from Wales, and uh, we order this lamb in a specific farm in Wales, and today we are lucky to have this lamb, but two weeks ago, we asked the same lamb for a, for a dinner, but the farmer explained it was reserved for Prince Charles ah. and for Prince Owen. So you will have the lamb uh, of the Prince Charles. Fantastic. Thank so, you. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers. 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 So Steve, my producer, his wife and his family will, uh, along with lots of other friends, will come to my house in the country. Ah, yes. Um, and then when we've eaten, Steve plays the guitar. Oh! <laughs> he does, he does. So He's you very have good. music, you uh -huh. know? So, mm -hmm. and the guitar with songs mm -hmm. or a classical guitar? No. Or it's, uh... Oasis and oh, um, okay. the Beatles and... No! Yeah, yeah. I have not my mobile phone on me, but you will see after the lunch, I have all the Beatles songs, the Rolling Stones, the, 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 ah. and I have all the French songs. Okay. I'm, I'm not an intellectual, and I prefer the songs and... Uh, Me too. Songs. Me I, too. I, I like very much. The, and popular, do you the popular music for me, it's very, very important. Yeah. 
Do you prefer the Beatles or the Rolling Stones? Ha! Good question. My feeling that was the Beatles are more in line with ours. I was the 21st century. 21st century, than, yeah. 21st century mm -hmm. than, than the stones. Right. Except, uh, Except she's Except all right. the stones are still alive and all the Beatles aren't. No, I know that. But uh, you, you ask me, it's more mm. uh, compatible with the, with the, 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 the I think that the, their all songs are more in the, our mood today. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, for the, the stone, my favorite song it's a, she's a rainbow and um, the dessert uh, lavender and uh, fresh gariget because the season is just starting yeah. and gariget reminds us of garig so mm. again uh, south of france yeah. and strawberries. Uh, yeah strawberries yeah. and then um, sorbet with uh, black olive oil i'm going to press you if i may mr ambassador yes. on politics yes how does Europe view us at the moment? Because we have been a family for a very long time and we want to leave. That must be um, a challenge for the rest of the 27. We regret this uh, decision because we are a family and especially uh, friends because I heard uh, many, many times that the friends are the others. No, we are the same family. And in the family, you can have quarrels, you can have difficulties, you can have, we have, but we are from the same family. I will take some examples. It's no possible uh, to, 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 to ensure security of Europe without the UK. It's uh, no possible to have a very strong defense without the UK. We cannot work against terrorism without a strong bilateral uh, relationship between France and, and the UK. So, and uh, it's also very important, as uh, we mentioned, on the economic side, on the food, on the trade, and so on. It's, uh, it's uh, uh, UK, it's a very important partnership. What do you think about Britain asking, or the UK asking, Europe for an extension because we have said we want to leave we're gone and then we can't get our own house in order so we're saying could you maybe give us a little bit of an extension for a while but uh, you see an extension it depends on what because we need to have the a purpose from 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 the UK is it for a referendum is it to have an uh, uh, to prepare uh, uh, new options in terms of uh, relationships and uh, uh, what is the purpose of the extension. What do you think the biggest risks are for Europe and for the United Kingdom separately for, by leaving the, U the European Union? The main risk, it's about the international influence of the UK and the European place throughout the world. Because we are in a world which is uh, dominated by the relationship between the US and China. And you can have two very powerful countries and it will be more difficult for Europe to have a place and for the UK to maintain its influence throughout the world. But my main concern as ambassador it's to maintain a very strong relationship, uh, whatever are our differences between UK and France. Because in all the responsibility that I had in my life, it was at the center of the, uh, of the strategic life and the economic life. Just want to finish on Brexit. I'm really sorry. But Obviously, politics is, is your area of expertise, and I'm absolutely fascinated. I was a little girl when we joined the European Union, and now we're about to leave. Um, one of the main concerns that a lot of people express to me is security. They're worried about totally the fact agree. that um, we, have, uh, we have fall out with our family and friends and neighbours, but we don't go to war with them. What would you say to that? 
I think that on security we need to maintain very strong relationship to ensure security because it's not only in the UK that the security problem is important. So for me, but it's a personal view, I'm not talking as ambassador, it's a very personal view. In terms of uh, security, we need to maintain a strong cooperation uh, with the UK. And what will happen if we don't? I don't know. I cannot tell you. I, I cannot envisage that. Do you think we may still stay? I think that it would be better, yes. But I don't want to interfere in the British politics and I respect the, um, the choice made by the British people. I have to respect that. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for my lunch, Mr. Ambassador. That no, was thank absolutely you. It was a real superb. Pleasure.